first I left old England shore, such yarns as we were told, as how folks in Australia could pick up lumps of gold. So when we got to Melbourne town, we were ready soon to slip and get even with the captain and scuttle from the ship. With the swag upon me shoulder, black Billy in me hand, I travel the bush of Australia like a true born native man. Okay, guys, so um, just doing a quick swing of the detector today um, in between these showers. And uh, I've got this target next to this, uh, or the bottom of this mully keep. And I dug down about three inches. And this is what come out. So I'll try clean him up a bit. Um, ugh. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's prettied him up a little bit. So a nice little... Uh, looks like a gold defined stone mixed in with it. See how flat it is? So, as you can hear... I'm wearing headphones. Yeah, she was a screamer. So you'll be happy with that. <laughs> you know, I'll keep moving before it starts raining. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I got another target here, guys, and it's um, seems to be a bit of a screamer again. Um, I've dug it out of here, uh, just in the side of Mully Keep. Some nice sandy stuff with uh, nice river gravel. Doesn't seem to be real round, so. Although it is, some of it is kind of round and others quite sharp and jagged, so which is typical, uh, can be typical in the gold fields. Um, you get, uh, it's not uncommon, uncommon for reefs to be worked as well as alluvial or flood gold in the same area, sometimes even out of the same mine. So we'll uh, give this a, there you go, it's in the scoop. Nice and loud. Still in the scoop. On the coil now. Now, yeah, just start this process of elimination. Now, I think it is going to be a bit of a... Uh, yeah, a bit of lead. Now, well, can't complain though, I found that other one, so... <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. On the next one. All right, guys, so I just had this signal here, and uh, it's been a previous detector's hole, and they left it open. And um, nice, nice little signal. Came through nice and clear, though, on the GPX, of course. Um, didn't expect it to be anything, but I thought I'll dig it. And this is what came out. I'll see if I can flip him over. Watch me drop it, eh? <laughs> Looks like it's a nice bit of conglomerate. And I'll just wriggle them around a bit more. Yeah. So whoever it was, um, could have been an older machine and they just thought it could have been a little bit of ground noise. And as they dug it out, the gold went to the, to the bottom and they dug it out and filled it and then they lost the signal um that can happen sometimes or they just uh thought it was ground noise or <laughs> just another bit of lead or whatever but who knows i'm happy they left it here because i picked it up <laughs> just guys on to the next one okay guys so got another target here it's in this um nice real uh washed sort of gravel and As you can hear through the headphones, she's coming up pretty loud, so... Uh, still in the scoop. Yeah, let's chuck it on there. Yeah, I can see it. Nice little rust nugget. 
interesting around here. There seems to be rust with uh, the quar uh, quartz and things stuck in it. I think quite a bit of rubbish here too. So, yeah. I might hang on to it just to crush it and then help me doubt so because, yeah, it's pretty obvious sign. All right, on to the next one. Okay, another signal guys. Uh, I've already scraped it obviously. And that's still in the hole. So I'm gonna get my trusty scoop and do this one handed because I, <laughs> I still lost my tripod. <sighs> oh, first scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Never happens. <laughs> yeah, so picking up the camera here a bit more. Yeah. Still on the coil. Ooh. Oh, is that it? Uh, it's in my hand. Oh, it's gold. <laughs> Look at that. Bit of conglomerate again, I think. Um, okay, let's give it a wash. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Love the taste of dirt. <laughs> and mercury, probably. Yeah, That's come up a bit better now. Look at that. Could have washed it a bit better, but not bad at all. So that's actually a specimen, just with a bit of dirt around it. Hmm, interesting, getting specimens and conglomerates in this area. Yeah. So, might do this as my thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Cheers guys, it's probably going to do me today too, oh, getting old, <sighs> see out the bush here, thick scrub, <sighs> and finding gold, <laughs> alright guys, uh, I do want to talk to you about one thing alright, now, in my last video, or one of my other videos, I went detecting in Smilesdale, alright, and I put that on the uh, thumbnail, detecting spies, oh, yada, yada, yada. Um, no biggie, you know, every man and his dog's been there. <laughs> but however, one, uh, the weekend I uploaded that, come the following Monday, so just a couple of days after, there is 12 cars at that same spot that I was at. And, I mean, I don't, I don't care anything, like it's, I don't own the bush, but I just find it funny that people, um, you know, they just seem to be so desperate for gold that as soon as they hear gold or <laughs> see someone with gold pull it out, you know, they just go straight to that spot, you know, um, rather than just uh, find your own spots, you know, like, <laughs> no, it's just funny to me, you know, like, um, <laughs> it's probably some of your viewers on here, but I don't care, like, like I said, I don't own the bush, I don't own, um, it's not on private land, so... Yeah, it's just funny to me that people, um, what people can do, um, <laughs> what gold can do to people, really. So, yeah, just thought I'll share that with you. Fun times. Yeah. No hard feelings, you know? Yeah. All right. Catch you guys later.